There are no original copies of the Bible manuscripts anywhere. I also understand that the Hebrew Old Testament scriptures have been faithfully preserved by the Jews. Also, that copies of the Old Testament scriptures have been preserved by Christians along with the Greek New Testament scriptures. There are approximately 5,000 individual separate pieces of Greek New Testament scriptures in various states of completion. There is also an original Latin New Testament copy from the 4th century called the Codex Vaticanus, but it's not complete. It is held in the Vatican Library. This is a Latin translation of copies of Greek text some two or three hundred years after them being written. There is also a Greek manuscript called the Codex Sinaiticus of dubious antiquity, again from the 4th century. Our New Testament was compiled by taking the preserved word of God contained in these manuscripts by Christians from apostolic times, by scholars and faithful copyists of the apostles' writings. This is our New Testament that is based upon the combined testimony of 5,000 Greek copies providentially preserved and referred to by Christians as the majority text, the Word of God. It is not true to say that none of these 5,000 manuscripts agree with each other. They do in the majority of cases. Our New Testament has been given us by Christians who have translated from the original Greek language from their copies of the original scriptures classified as a majority text into our English tongue. Christians believe that the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments have been preserved by God for all generations and is the word of God from which we can learn about the true and living God, his works, purposes and knowledge of salvation in and through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. It is also believed that the 4th century manuscripts, Codex Vaticanus and Sinaiticus are not to be relied upon as having authority as to what was originally written because they teach things not contained in the majority text of scripture. The reformers during the Reformation from the 1500s onwards used these majority manuscripts for their translations into the various languages, including English. And from these translations, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ was taught and brought men from out of the darkness of the Dark Ages into God's marvellous light. During the Reformation, God raised up Christian scholars who were taught by the Spirit of God to teach the doctrines of Scripture. These men brought to light the truth concerning the preservation of God's word, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, redemption by Christ alone, the nature and extent of the atonement, the attributes of God in respect to omnipotence, omnipresence, omniscience, and of the fall and total depravity of man, who unless he be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, will be judged and condemned for his sins. It is also understood that since the 1850s, the age of Darwin's evolution, that many translations of the Bible have occurred with scholars thinking they know better than the translators of our English Bible. There have been many so-called translations, such as the Schofield Reference Bible, the New World Translation by the Jehovah's Witnesses, even a Passion Translation, all of which has led to the false teachings of our modern age. So, in order to come to a clear and reliable understanding of the Bible and the way of salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to learn from the Bible what it actually teaches in connection with the person of Christ, his work and redemption by him, concerning the providential preserved word of God. And so, it is recommended to all serious students of the Bible to learn from the reformers of the Christian religion, from those men that God raised up since the 15th century onwards and who have given us their writings, all for us to study and learn clearly the teachings of Scripture for ourselves. 
From my limited knowledge, and after 50 years of being a Christian, it is my testimony and my observation that many Christians do not actually read or study scripture and the writings of former Christian men, and they have limited knowledge of the Christian religion. This leaves them wide open to receive error, and they go on to propagate their own error. They generally read one or more of these modern translations and very soon construct their own system of beliefs and go on to deny the gospel of the grace of God as taught by the reformers, thinking that they are the true light in this modern age. They are not and are responsible for teaching heresy. It is for this reason I do my best to warn and alarm any who are serious about the things of God. I write this way because I write from experience, from first-hand knowledge. As my son, Isaac, who is 40 years old, denies that the five books of Moses are the word of God and to be relied upon and teach the creation of the world in six days. He also denies the worldwide flood of Noah and avoids speaking against the sin of sodomy and likes only to speak of the love of God, but not the hatred or wrath of God against sin. He denies that God has predestined all things and governs all things by providence, according to his eternal plan, a purpose to display the glory of God in the face of the Lord Jesus Christ, and so misrepresents the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. He now goes on to slander and misrepresents the scriptures of the English Bible as published in our King James Version. This is the fruit and effect of those not taught by the Spirit of God, but being led by their natural wisdom. Please note that all the confessions of faith published in England since the 17th century refer to the Word of God as we have it published in the authorised versions of the Bible and not those modern translations based upon unreliable eclectic texts rather than the majority received texts of the Christian scriptures. For your reference I point you to read the First London Baptist Confession 2nd edition 1646 which outlines the tenets of the Christian religion and you'll see what I've said is true. For those who read modern versions are unable to understand or when they do seek to deny the grace of God as taught in these early Baptist confessions. See the link provided at the bottom of this video.